guys, my name is Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been on TikTok or on the internet at all, you probably have noticed that Uche Notori's makeup tutorials have been going viral and everybody is trying to recreate it on their own and see if they can get their makeup to look just as flawless as hers. Let me tell you, I have been watching her for so long. Her makeup is tea, her hair is tea, the body is tea. I mean, she's definitely that girl all the way around and i'm gonna be following her tutorial step by step you guys want to see how i came to this look how i followed her steps and if they worked for me or if they didn't then keep on watching but before that please like and subscribe and let me know when the video is over if you would attempt this uche makeup tutorial or if you would just stick to your normal routine so with that being said let's hop right into the video Let's hop right into it. So Uche says that you need to start with brows and skin prep. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't like to change my brows. I do my brows the same way almost every time I do my brows. And when I go for that more feathery look that she does, I don't end up liking it, but I'm gonna try to do something more similar to what she would do since I'm following her makeup tutorial. So I don't have any brow gel, so I'm gonna use some edge control. I'm not gonna do the full brow on camera, but I am just gonna put some in my brows and I'm just gonna follow the shape that I usually like. I'm not gonna make my brows stand up because I don't like when they look like that. So I'm just gonna kind of set them into place with this edge control and then I'm gonna let them dry and towards the end, I'll fill them in. Okay, so now it's time to go in to the skin prep. I do not prep my skin very well at all because I'm an oily girl and I feel like I don't wanna put too many things underneath my makeup. I use this Facial Essence by Kiehl's. I feel like this gives me the moisture that I need without being too heavy. But since I'm following Uche's tutorial, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna layer some actual skincare on top of it to make sure that our skin is nice and moisturized. Okay, I have my facial essence on and I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna add some of this like little serum packet. This is a really deep moisturizing serum. I feel like part of the reason why Uche's makeup looks so good even though she uses a lot of powders is probably because her skin is prepped immaculately underneath and that's something that I really don't do. So I'm hoping that that'll make a difference. So let me put on my other moisturizers and just come back. So I've put on my serum moisturizer and now while that's drying, I'm just going to go in with my Morphe micro brow pencil and this is in the shade chocolate mousse and I'm just going to fill in my brows a little bit. This is this multi-use sculpting concealer. A little bit on a brush, she used the flat brush like this. I'm just gonna carve them out just to clean them up a little bit. I like this brush because it has this fluffy side on the end. By that concealer, I can just use the fluffy side to blend it out because I don't want it to be harsh. Uche's makeup is always really, really flawless, really well blended, so I want the same. Oh my God, I almost forgot to prime, but it's okay, we can still prime, because this is just the eyebrows. I did my moisturizer, but like, if I did moisturizer and no primer, would it really be an Uche tutorial? Like, no. I carved up my brows, I like them so far. They're never identical, but I think they look pretty good. And I I actually kind of like the little um, edge control that I use to like slick them down. I think it makes the hairs that I have actually like more prominent in a sense. So I kind of like that step even though I usually don't do this. Now it's time to prime. So if you go to her tutorials, she doesn't always use the same foundation and she doesn't always use the same primer. But I have heard her talk about these two products a lot because I watch her on the regular. Like I love Uche. So she has been actually using, using the water powder serum and she's been using blurring balm from Danessa Myricks. Since I have the blurring balm from Danessa Myricks, I'm gonna use this. And I'm not gonna double prime today because I haven't really tested out the water powder serum and I'm kind of afraid to just like test something completely new. So I'm just gonna stick with this universal blurring balm for now. Now it's time to get into foundation. 
I have seen Uche for the most part use her NARS foundation and she always tends to mix two but I don't think it's the foundation that really makes the difference because she usually just goes for like a matte or like a glowy and a matte together but she uses different foundations in different tutorials because like I said like I'm a frequent watcher so like I know that she doesn't always stick with the same thing but her makeup always comes out bomb so I'm gonna choose what I think is best for me and it's kind of hard because I'm thinking like, should I use the, the most matte foundations I have? I could mix these two, which is Macau and New Caledonia, and this is the NARS Soft Matte. I know I said I hated these before, but I've been recently playing around with them and I kind of like them, but sometimes I feel like they're just a little too matte. But I do have a Brush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color 14 Neutral. And the reason why I think I'm just going to go in with this one is because the color. So she mentions the color. The color is important. She says she never goes lighter. She always makes sure she goes like a little bit deeper or like kind of spot on because she highlights a lot more than I do currently. She does kind of like a glowy and a matte. So I'm thinking about mixing by Mario and the flawless filter i feel like it'll give that nice balance between having like a matte and a glowy i'm gonna just do one pump of each on my hand and now this charlotte tilbury flawless filter has kind of like an orangish tone but i feel like when my makeup's done it looks really good so i'm gonna go in with this and she likes to use a flat brush like this to paint it on first but I also am afraid that this is going to dry quickly. So I'm going to just use a dense brush to blend it out. Now I usually use a beauty blender. So this is not something I typically like to do. But I'm going to do this like in little sections like half my face because I don't want the foundation to get dry since the Charlotte Tilbury is a matte foundation. And I feel like this color is good to give me back that color and like when i go in and highlight it won't be too light i think she likes to use the brush because it gives you a higher coverage so i think the brush is doing a pretty good job i do like this brush from sephora my beauty blender and just go on the top of it to remove any excess i've seen her do this in a few videos and i think it's a good way of just making sure that you didn't put too much product on okay so now that foundation is on here is the piece de resistance like this is the part that really makes or breaks her makeup like concealer part and plus setting it later on i feel like this is what makes her makeup look so flawless like it looks so airbrushed so this is the part that i'm really trying to get down so she does use a, a few concealer shades she uses one that's her skin tone and then she uses one that's brighter and she typically goes a little bit brighter than i would go these days i used to wear really bright under eyes but i kind of stopped after a while but she does it in a way that makes her makeup like look so beautiful. So for my skin tone concealer, and the thing with her concealers is that she uses two full coverage. Now in the YouTube one, she uses the Pat McGrath concealer, but in the TikTok one, she's using the Huda Beauty Full Filter. Now I did a review on my channel and I don't like the Huda Beauty Full Filter. I don't know, different things work for different people, but the point is that she uses a full coverage concealer. So for my first full coverage concealer that's in my shade, I'm gonna use the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear all over concealer and this is in the shade 460 it looks like this well the placement is also a big deal when it comes to her concealer <laughs> like her placement is elite but what i'm gonna do first is just go in and cover my dark circles because like if you look at uche she really doesn't have under eye darkness like this so i'm gonna go in with this one first and i'm gonna blend this out and then i'm gonna do the placement that she does with the highlighter so for the first one, I'm just going to do what I would normally do, which is just conceal around my eyes and like on top of my eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with the technique that she usually does, because I think I need this step more than she does. And that's like where we're going to differ a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with her placement and she usually lets this sit for a while, which actually scares me. For the lighter concealer, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath in N21. I feel like it could be even lighter because she does technically use very light concealer, but I'm going to go with this. Okay, so she puts some in her inner corners, like right here. Okay. And then she puts some on the outer corner of her eye. So she says she takes it down to sculpt her nose and then she brings it out. 
So I'm gonna bring it down and sculpt my nose and bring it out. She also does some on the bridge of her nose. Kind of goes around her nostril area and she brings it out like where the laugh lines would be. It's gonna look different on me slightly because we have different facial features. I have the concealer placement down and it's kind of scaring me that I'm not blending it out right away because I feel like the Pat McGrath is like, it's not too matte, but I wouldn't let it sit for that much. But she just goes in and does her contour. She says she goes on her cheekbone. She doesn't go underneath it or like above it. She goes on it. So I'm gonna go on mine here. She calls this her wolfie vibes. She does like a little bit on her forehead as well. Also does her upper lip, which I never do. <laughs> that looks so funny to me, but actually it looks kind of bomb. Like it just made my lips look so plum. This area here, and then she does her jaw, and then she brings it down, which I really need because I have a double chin. So thank you girl for putting this. So I'm gonna use my preferred brush, which is like a stippling brush to blend out the contour. And at this time, she still has her concealer sitting. I never, never let my concealer sit like this. And I hope it doesn't backfire. I really hope it doesn't backfire. And she does the contour first, which I like because if you do make mistakes and go heavy handed with it, you can always clean it up after you blend the concealer because it's gonna just kind of blend in seamlessly. So she blends the under eye next, but she uses a brush. I usually use a beauty blender, but I do have this brush, this brush from Real Technique. So she just goes in and she blends it away. And she says that you should notice that the concealer doesn't move around too much because you've let it sit. Actually, I'm surprised that I'm actually able to blend this out. She likes to take this all the way out. So I'm gonna do the same. But like, honestly, it looks pretty good and it's not moving as much. I like that. I blended it out and after she does that we go in with the Charlotte Tilbury I usually don't do this step in my makeup because I feel like this is a finishing step I usually don't do it in between so I'm gonna try it today okay I guess I should let it like dry a little bit before I go straight in with the powder she likes to use the one size translucent and then she also likes to use the Huda Beauty this is the Huda Beauty powder. She likes to use it in the shade Banana Bread and that's what I have as well. I'm gonna use a powder puff because she also uses a powder puff when she goes in. So she uses two powders. She uses the banana first from Huda Beauty and then she goes with the one size. I like the one size better than the Huda Beauty but this is her tutorial. So I'm gonna let it rock and I'm gonna do what she said. Just blend out these creases. That does look pretty good. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna cap, like, it looks pretty good. Usually I hate this powder first, um, but it does look pretty good. I think you just shouldn't put too, too much. So I'm gonna go in and make sure I get the creases out on the other side. Now I'm gonna go in on the other side and put some of that banana bread. This should lock all the concealer in place so that it doesn't crease and go anywhere. And it does look super bright, so it looks nice. She likes her face matte and so do I, so she goes around the other areas of her face, but then she also goes in with some of the one size. So I'm also gonna go in with some one size, but I feel weird about it because I feel like my face is already set. Like, why do I need to go in with the one size? But I guess the one size is slightly brighter because it's translucent. Um, but to me, it's not as full coverage as the Huda, so maybe it won't be as like dramatic. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more 
Let me, should I tap off more? Yeah, let me tap off a little bit more. I don't want to be too heavy handed with this. So we're going to go under the eye and just add some of the one size and put that one size in the other areas. Oh my God, it looks so bright. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So after she puts the powder down, we're looking kind of white casted, but she says that she makes sure she goes in with a brush and her powder bronzer. So I'm gonna do that. My powder bronzer of choice, and she also says she likes a powdery look. So if you don't like a powdery look, this might not be for you. It may not be for me either, but you know, I, I love a full glam, so I'll never be like shying away from it too much. But let's just dust off like that excess and then go in with the bronzer. Cause this one size powder with the hood, it's definitely bright. But I mean, it's sitting, it's sitting. This is the NARS powder bronzer in Laguna in um, 06. And she uses this like as her liquid contour. And I think she also uses this for her powder bronzer. I think she changes, but this is one of the ones she uses. So I'm just gonna like reinforce that air, those areas that I already contoured and bronzed. And I'm just gonna do it a little bit more with the powder so that we don't lose that color, that nice bronzy color that we had before. This is her Wolfie lines. So I'm gonna just add whatever was left on that brush and reinforce that a little bit. I like this because I don't like to take my nose contour all the way down all the time. So I feel like it concentrates most of the color like in this area right here. Mars um, Steve Front Soft Matte Powder. And I'm just gonna go like in between where I put the bronzer and this highlight just to try to blend it just a little bit more i believe this is part five this is the eyeshadow part she just goes in with like a normal cool toned brown color and she just says she pops it like all over the lid so i'm going to do that really quickly and then she also just takes it underneath her eye so i'm going to just do that i'm going to take this little black liner she tight lines her upper lid and puts some on her bottom lid and on top of her lid so like this is a smoky look that she did today after she puts down the liner she says she smudges it out and then uses like some black eyeshadow i feel like i'm gonna mess this part up <laughs> like ooh, because i don't usually use black eyeshadow for anything um so i don't want it to be like too harsh for me after smoking out the liners she uses some mascara she uses hella thick but i'm gonna use my favorite lash clash because that's what i have and she puts some on the top and bottom lashes i've done that i'm gonna put on lashes and i have like this lash pack from amazon i'm gonna put on these bottom lashes right here So this is the last part. She's gonna do the lips and she always starts with MAC Chestnut. I'm gonna line my lips and I'm gonna overline because she does and I love to as well. Okay, so I went in with the MAC Chestnut. I have been liking something different for my lip combo. So I'm gonna go in with this lifter gloss and this is in the shade Pink Sting. This is the spicy one from, I think it's Maybelline. I'm just gonna go in with this cause I'm more of a pinky vibe. I really don't like nude lips, so I'm just not gonna do that. Cause um, lips are more or less your preference anyway. I'm gonna put a good amount of that on the lips. And for me, I'm satisfied with that as my lip combo. I think it looks so cute. I didn't see her put any blush, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm going to take my hair down, give you guys the full, full effect, cause it looks like we're finally finished. Okay, so I took my hair down and this is the finished completed look. Like my makeup looks really good. 
it's really nice. Do I think it looks just like how flawless Uche's makeup is? Uh, no, I don't, but um, I think it looks pretty good. It's okay if it doesn't come out exactly like hers, but honestly, it came out really good. And that is it for this Uche Makeup School tutorial. Um, how do you think I did as a student? Rate me, give me a grade. I really wanted an A plus, so just keep that in mind. It's really fun, really, really fun. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.